So first things first guys, we need a very sharp knife and we want to start with our carrots. And after washing your carrots, take your time to chop them up nice and chunky. They'll be braising in the stew for about four to five hours. Chop your chunky carrots into a bowl and we need to do the same with some celery. Chop the celery to the same size as your carrots, pop them into the same bowl. And now chop in half and skin some onions and spend a few minutes chopping up your onions nice and chunky the same size as the carrots and celery chuck your onions into the same bowl once you've done this pop your bowl of vegetables to one side while we prepare our oxtail generously season the meat with some sea salt and some nice coarsely ground black pepper once the oxtail is beautifully seasoned, we need to take a Dutch oven, preferably, and add a nice generous splash of olive oil, turn the heat up high, and then pop all of your oxtail into the Dutch oven to beautifully brown off and caramelize. Take your time doing this, turning your oxtail until it's beautifully caramelized on all sides. Depending on how much oxtail you have and the size of the Dutch oven, you may want to do this in batches. Either way, just get it beautifully caramelized and golden brown. Once you've done this, remove your oxtail, pop it into a bowl, and into the Dutch oven, we want to throw in our beautiful sofrito base, your carrot, celery, and onion. Turn the heat down to medium, season your vegetables generously with sea salt and black pepper. And the trick here is to spend some time beautifully roasting off all of your vegetables. Get the onions beautifully golden brown and remove as much water from the veg as you can. Once the sofrito is roasted off nicely, we need to chuck in our tomato paste, about a tablespoon or so. Give it about three to five minutes, keep stirring. And when you've done that, we need to go in with our red wine. Use a good red wine and we want about a third of a bottle and spend a few minutes it's just reducing that down. Pop back in our lovely oxtail and pour over our light chicken stock. Turn the heat up high. At this point, go in with two or three bay leaves and bring the stock up to a boil. And we just want to pop the lid on our Dutch oven, take it off of the hob and transfer it into a preheated oven at about 140 to 150 degrees and we want to gently braise our stew for about four to five hours. After about four or five hours, remove your Dutch oven and we're ready to serve our beautiful, indulgent, braised oxtail stew. The best way to serve your oxtail is with some beautiful creamed mashed potatoes. This is a real treat, guys, this one. Absolutely amazing, deep, rich flavors. My braised oxtail stew.